all right good morning good afternoon and good evening to everyone thank you to all my subscribers for coming back to view our videos and thank you for new subscribers my name is promise bill ceo promise records i am always here to help you out on tutorials about cubase whether cubase 5 or any cubase where you're having difficulties you can simply put it on the comment section and we can help you fix it in no time so i got this request from somebody uh, show us you're exporting windows or quickly do a tutorial on how to export Spot multiple tracks, both wave tracks, MIDI tracks, and effect tracks at the same time. All right, without wasting time, let's dive right into it. I have a project here, and the project is titled Amen, is one of my production, one of my songs. I'll play it a bit, then I will show you how to export it in just two minutes. <music> Here's the track um how to export multiple tracks at the same time first thing you need to do is to quickly alight the areas where you want to export you can do that by simply doing two things number one you can if you want to export the entire project all you need to do is press ctrl a on your keyboard then press p to automatically crop the entire the areas the entire area where you want to export that is one the second option if you don't want to do all that you can just simply come to this point up here just drag it to the point where you want to export but for the purpose of this tutorial let me just export a, a little fragment of the song so i'm going to show you how to export both midi wave track and um, effect tracks at the same time also note that you can export maybe you did some automations with your reverb and you just want to export only the automation or use it in some other projects or in the same project differently you can export that you can do that alone so without wasting time now that we have selected the areas we want to export the next thing you're going to do is come over to file go to export and go to audio mix down so what this means is both the midi tracks and all the wave tracks and the effect tracks we export as a wave file an audio wave file or an audio mp3 file whatever one you want to choose the next thing you're going to do is this is on single so we're going to switch to multiple if you can't find this on your cubase it simply means you are using a cubase that does not support uh multiple exports especially cubase 8 i don't know about the other cubase you can't do this on cubase 8 all right the next thing you will do is come to this section then you start to select what you want to export listen carefully if you look at this point we have a stereo art this stereo art will give me a guide of the entire project separately so i will leave this stereo art on it means you are exporting the entire project included then if you look at this point you see group channels if you want to export all group channels into one all you need to do is come to this place and select the particular group channel you want to export let's say you want to export this uh, bgvs group i can just click this and all the backup vocals will export into one wave but i don't want to do that so let's assume that you are doing this for doing multiple exports to send for mixing and mastering i will skip this group part because i don't need it the next thing i'm going to check it we have our fx uh, channels whatever effect you have done will be on this will be on this part so all you need to do is tick the particular effect you want to export so since i'm working with this i'm going to tick this reverb uh this backup reverb plus delay i will put it on that's two i will leave the other ones you can also do more than one then the next is our instrument tracks this session is for the midi all your midi instrument will appear on this section this instrument tracks so for me i want to export all the instrument tracks i will export the drums the piano the organ and the pad now this session is for the audio files so what you're going to do now uh, you just tick the ones you want to export here this is the instrument i don't need that let me leave that this is my distortion this is my cry effect and now if you come to this session you see all the backup voices separately listed here so I'm going to take all of them. All right, now that all are selected and I am done with, with the entire uh, selection of the particular stuffs I want to export, what I will do, I will just give this a name, a general name, because they are going to export according to the names that are listed here. That general name will come first, then this, their individual names will come after. So let's give this, uh, you can give it a project name. I will name this Amen Files. You can limit any name you want to give us. Is I will click this part 
I'll click the part and choose the particular part where I want it to save on my system. Okay, you go to that part where you want it to save on your system. For me, I'll just right click on this empty space, go to new and create a new folder and I'll give it Amen project, project files. Click enter, click open, then save, it is saved. The next thing you look at for is this session, file type. For me, if I'm sending the file for mixing and mastering, it is not advisable to, to keep it on mp3 format because in the process of sending it the quality can drop so i will come over here to the file type click it and put it on wave that's one then next thing you look out for is your sample rate this is where i know some of you would have experienced something like this after exporting a job from your cubase the moment you play it it plays it becomes slower than the original tempo or faster than the original tempo what's responsible is your sample rate if your sample rate is not correct it will affect the tempo of your song anywhere you play it so what we do is this should be on 44 khz and the depth will be on 16 and if you are having any issue about a slow tempo or a fast tempo you don't know how to fix that just indicate on the comment section i will do a tutorial on how to correct that quickly in just one minute let your beat depth be on 16 then i think we are good to go the next thing you do is click export audio and wait for it to export all right it is exported now let's go and look for the file we exported so all right this is the project file i created amen project so we have a total of 23 files yeah this first file here is our the stereo art so this stereo art is simply the entire work exported in one okay then to save time you can rename all your files accordingly according to the names before sending to the engineer for mixing and mastering let's just test the files to make sure that we are on track so i'm going to play this uh, main drums first of course i didn't do much in the beginning part so let me just you can see you can see this wave here so let's play it fantastic that means it's correct always test before sending this is the general demon of the particular project that we exported like i told you before always export demon Hallelujah. that is the general job so okay, let's play this particular this is one of the backup voices Amen. Ooh, yeah. okay let's test any of our effects that we actually exported so this is what you will get when you export just the effects so let's play it and listen Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. so that is just the effect you exported so what some people do is they will track the voice export the effect and import it back into the cubase or whatever daw you are using then merge it to the original voice and drop some effects you are doing a gospel track and you want the congregation to sing probably just want to caress that by yourself you understand of course the song is recorded in the studio so you want to create that atmosphere voice that's a congregational voice you can use this pattern to do it export the main voice but they must sing on unison your congregation cannot sing parts cannot sing these strong parts it's not possible because they are not all music uh, persons so you export the unison part of the song like on wave on uh you export it only effect import it back into qubits and bam you have your just adjust here, here and there a little of adjustment and you have a perfect audience voice i know you have learned something today please give us a thumbs up i always love to read comments i love comments please put a comment on the comment section and please don't go without subscribing if you have any requests please drop it on the comment section and we'll treat it the next day i'll see you around god bless you thank you bye for now